Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. And I think to myself, what a wonderful Today's video is going to be an update on my project Use It Up for the winter time. So I have in front of me all of the products and we're just going to go through them one by one. So I actually, uh, I did a boo-boo, I messed up and I threw away all the ones, all the products that I finished because I did my, uh, my empties from December already and then I threw them away. So I don't have them to show you, but I will talk about the things that I finished. So the first thing that I finished was a Mary Cookie hand cream. This smelled so good. I bought another one at SAS. So I really, really enjoyed this one. I go through about one hand cream a month. So that was typical for me to finish that one up. Um, the next thing I went through was the um, 2016 Twisted Peppermint Body Lotion Mini. And I also got through the shower gel mini from 2016. So I'm glad I finished those up before they went bad. And I really enjoyed them. I found out that I actually do like Twisted Peppermint. So that's that was a plus, figuring that out. Um, and I did buy a full-size body lotion of Twisted Peppermint to use in the summertime because people say that it actually gives you a cooling feeling on your skin when it's hot outside. So I wanted to try that out. So I got it in a full-size one um, at SAS. Or not at SAS. I don't know when I bought it, but I bought a... Twisted Peppermint Body Lotion. The last thing that I finished up since the last update is the Sweet Cinnamon Pumpkin Body Cream. So glad to have it out of my collection. It didn't go bad on me yet, which was great. Um, I got it in 2019, the fall of 2019. So I finished it up before it went bad, which was great. And I figured out that I do not like Sweet Cinnamon Pumpkin in the body care. So that was a good revelation for me. And I finished that one up. So very proud of that. I'm gonna show you now the things that I have progress on. So the first things I'm gonna start with are the candles. So this is the Cinnamon Caramel Swirl Candle. I got this at SAS this summer, and this is my progress. So this is where I started in December, December 1st, I believe, and here's where I am today. So a little bit of use. I maybe burned this like three times or so. So I need to burn this a lot more next month. Um, and then the next one is Spiced Gingerbread, which I definitely burned a lot more. This is from I want to say I got this at Candle Day in 2019. So here's my progress on this one. I probably burned it maybe five, six, seven times. Um, so I definitely burned this one a lot more. It started to discolor on me and then it also the wicks got drowned, drowned. <laughs> the wicks got drowned in the uh, wax. So I had to cotton ball it and the wicks are tiny if you can see. So I don't know if they're going to last much longer. Um, I'll try and cotton ball it again if I can get it to pull out as much. So hopefully I can save this one. I don't have a wax warmer or anything or a hot plate or wax plate that I can put this on to like get through the rest of it. So I hope that I can, um, burn it all the way down, but yeah, let me know if I should get some of that stuff because it might come in handy. <laughs> The next three things are the Fine Fragrance Mist. So the first one is the Twisted Peppermint Fine Fragrance Mist from 2016. And here's my progress lines. So I started and it was pretty much unused all the way up at the top. And now we're about halfway down, um, a little less than halfway. I've been spraying this at work. I've been bringing it in my work bag, spraying it like every two hours on me at work just to try to use it up. I don't like um, Twisted Peppermint in the Fine Fragrance Mist. I did like it in the shower gel and lotion, but I just figured out I don't like it in the fine fragrance mist. So I'm just trying to finish this up. I really don't want it to go bad on me before I have the chance to. So I think hopefully I can finish this in January. We shall see. I'm really trying hard though. The next thing I have is Frosted Wonderland. This is my fine fragrance mist from 2014. And here's the progress on that one. Not a lot, but I did get like a pretty, it's a pretty big gap, but that's gonna take me one, two, three, four and a half months to finish up if I use it at that rate. So I hope I can use it more. I've been trying to do what people suggest and like spraying so much on my body and like spraying throughout the day, but it's just not working. So, and I was really focused on Twisted Peppermint. So I'm hoping I can keep using this and use it up, but I don't know, we'll, we'll see. I might have to keep it into the um, spring project too. So we'll see. And then I have Gingerbread Latte from this year, which I'm just trying to get some use out of. I like to, um, I don't know, I like to have my fine fragrance mists actually have some use on them so they're not like at the very top and like I've never used them before. Um, so this one I used quite a few times. Um, this is the little bit of progress I got on it. 
but I did use it, which is good. And I've been using it kind of like as a room spray almost at nighttime right before I go to bed. And it's actually pretty calming because it's just like a sweet sugary scent. So this has been pretty nice for that. And then I've got my Aromatherapy Sleep Black Chamomile Lotion. So this one last month, it was 13.9 ounces and now it is at 12.9 ounces. So I, I got down an ounce, which is good. I probably only used this like three times. So I need to get a lot more use out of this and just keep getting steady progress with it um, until it's finished up. So yeah, because this is from 2016. So I need to, 2015, sorry. I need to get a lot of use out of this before it goes bad. And then I have my hydrating body oil, which has been in pretty much all of my projects since 2020. And here's all of my progress lines. I got through a considerable amount in the last month. Um, I think I was just exfoliating and shaving my legs a lot more often so i think that's why i got a lot more use out of it um i actually am starting to enjoy it as i'm about to be finished with it of course um so i might consider getting an oil again in the future um if i find one at like sas or something because i do actually like this for the days that i shave my legs so that's been nice and the last thing that i have some use on actually a lot of use on is frosted cranberry shower gel I don't know what I did, but I used a lot of it in the last month. So this is where it was in December 1st, and this is where we are today. So I used a lot of it. Um, at this point, it'll take me one and a half months to finish this up, which usually for shower gels, it takes me two and a half months, which is not a bad thing because I have a lot of shower gels to finish. Um, I think I was just being more generous with this, and I really like the scent of it. It's just like a fresh cranberry scent, so... It was, it's been really nice in the shower and yeah, I'm very happy to have a considerable amount of progress on this one. So now we're going to get into what I am introducing this month. So I'm going to be bringing in a few shower gels. So the first thing I have is the Winter Candy Apple Confetti Moisturizing Body Wash. I got this um, and it came to me open from Bath & Body Works online. So it came to me not completely full, maybe like 70% full. And I'm actually gonna mark it where I can right now. I believe it's right about here. Um, so that's like 70% full. Uh, let's see, yeah. So right about here is where we're at. And this is Winter Candy Apple, Candy Red Apple, Winter Rose Petals, Candied Orange and Maple Leaf and Fresh Cinnamon. This smells really good. I honestly, I thought that I had never used Winter Candy Apple before, but when I got this and started using it, I realized it smelled familiar to me. So I probably have used this in like high school or something and I just didn't remember, um, but it smells really good. So I just want to get some use out of this before, um, before winter is up. I don't have to finish it, but I have heard that the moisturizing body washes don't last as long as the shower gels. So I do want to get some considerable um, use on this one. And then I just picked this up at SAS, but I'm gonna put in hot cocoa and cream in the shower gel. And this smells so good. It just smells like straight chocolate. And I mean, I'm not gonna lie, I really love how it smells. So I wanna use it like immediately. Um, it's just so, so good. And then I'm also gonna put in the body cream that I got at SAS. And this will probably be gone in a month, but um, it smells so good, I just couldn't resist. And also it is already super yellow. Uh, the body cream is already like very, very yellow. So I'm scared that if I wait to use it until next um, winter that it'll already be bad by then. So I just wanna use it and finish it up and enjoy it while I can um, before it goes bad. And I figure I'll pair them together while I have them both. So those two are going into the project. And then I'm introducing the Coconut Mint Drop Body Lotion, which I already have been using, um, but I will mark it for you guys. Probably right about here, yeah. So we're putting this one in the project. I'm probably not gonna finish it up before the project is done, but I've really been enjoying it, so I figured why not put it in the project um, and get some use out of it. So the fragrance notes are white coconut, iced peppermint, and winter musk. This honestly smells so good, and it pairs very well with my Frosted Wonderland. So I'll probably be pairing those two together if I wear them during the day. But this one is also really good to wear at nighttime too. And then the last moisturizer that I'll be putting in is Sugar Cherry Crisp in the Ultra Shea Body Cream. <gasps> it smells so good. I cannot brag to you enough about this. The fragrance notes are Bright Cherry Delight, Crumbled Graham Cracker, and Spun Vanilla Sugar. It smells like cherry pie filling. It smells so delicious. I'm putting some on right now. 
I'm putting some on my hands right now. And this also is already super yellow, so if I waited, it probably would go bad. <laughs> I don't know, maybe. But, oh, it smells so good. And I can see myself carrying this over into the fall as well. Like, I don't think that it'll be a bad idea. Um, not the fall, I'm sorry. The spring project as well. I don't think it'll be bad. I think it'll still smell great for springtime too. So let's mark it. I want to say we're about right here. I'm actually gonna go measure it on my scale work real quick. So give me just a sec. So this is 6.8 ounces. I'm gonna, I already marked it on the back of here. So I'll refer to that next month when I wanna see the progress, but I have already been using this. Um, whenever I finished Sweet Cinnamon Pumpkin, I started using this. So mm, it just smells so good and I'm definitely going to look forward to using this. So that's always good. And then I'm going to put in two hand creams. So first is Frosted Coconut Snowball. This is actually already like halfway used. So I think that this will go really quickly. That's why I wanna put in two. And then this is Frosted Cranberry. I have been using this a little bit at home, um, just kind of like after I wash my hands. So I'm gonna, you know, combo these two for January and I'll probably finish up both of them. So yeah, that is everything. Oh no, I'm sorry. I'm introducing something new in this project that I've never done before. I'm introducing two perfumes. So this year I really wanna get through my perfume collection. I don't have a lot. I just have uh, a few samples and then some minis of an Ariana Grande set. So I don't have a lot, but I never used perfume before, but everything that I've heard about it, like people love it and it lasts longer, which it definitely does. And I can attest to that because I have been using the Huda Beauty Kayali vanilla 28 perfume mini so this is the mini right now i'm definitely gonna have it finished very soon i've been using it for like a week already and it's down this much so this smells amazing and it lasts so long i don't know how i didn't get into perfume before because i have some i just never used it um so yeah this smells amazing i'm putting this in the project i'll have it done in a few days to be honest and then i'm gonna put in the lake and sky 1111 perfume oil um, I'm a little hesitant about an oil perfume, but we shall see. This does smell good to me, so at least that. And then I've been putting them on, um, I've been putting on this naturally moisturizing stick, which is like a face moisturizer, but it's in a stick form. And I haven't used it in a while because my skin has been super dry and this just doesn't cut it. Um, so instead, I put it on before I put my perfume on, on my wrists and then on the back of my neck slash ears, and then I spray the perfume. It stays so long, so I'm very excited to go on a perfume journey. Like, I am ready, and I wanna finish up those two samples, and those are the only samples that I have, and then I'll go through my minis of my Ariana Grande perfume, and yeah, we'll see where that takes us. So I'm very excited to introduce some perfumes to this collection. I will probably have those done very soon, but um, yeah, that's everything for my project Use It Up for the winter update number one. Um, let me know down below what you guys have been using this winter, kind of like after Christmas. What do you use after Christmas that still makes you feel like in the wintry mood? Um, or are you, are you guys already ready for spring and summer? Let me know. I'm not quite over winter yet, um, but I am a fall and winter girl. So I could go for those since year round. <laughs> personally but yeah let me know down below what you're using currently and i will see you guys in the next video bye